Hey guys, this is Cesar Gutierrez with KW Laredo. Today is day 21 of the 75 day challenge. And today we're gonna go over uh, zip forms and basically how to fill out a form and how to send it, okay? So yesterday we created uh, an opportunity through zip forms and we added the template. Um, if you don't know how to do that yet, go watch uh, day 20, the day 20 video and the one before that as well. Okay, so here what we're basically gonna do is once we upload the template, there's gonna be a couple items that we still need to fill out. Okay, so uh, in this case, we're gonna do, it's a regular home contract. Um, since we did bring in the new home contract and the incomplete, incomplete and complete, since we're not gonna use them, all you have to do is click on the blue arrow and delete. Okay, so the reason why we did that, uh, we added them here is in case we did need to use one of those, um, you would be able to have them already pre-filled. Okay, so then you go in here and you'll notice how the section that is pre-filled is pre-filled here. And you're basically just gonna go in and start adding your information. So this is buyer or seller. Seller one. And buyer one, okay. So then you go in and fill in all the information that is needed. Uh, once you have filled everything out, you save it. You go back. And then um, you can go ahead and start the process to start getting those signatures. Okay, so the wire fraud, once you fill out the actual buyer information or the seller information, if you click here and click here, it's gonna automatically fill it up. Okay. And then here you just put uh, your name. This is Keller Williams Laredo. And then you save it. Okay. If there's a document that you need to upload, um, let's say, uh, for example, the seller's disclosures, if you're going to submit an offer and you want to send over the seller's disclosures already signed, uh, what you want to do is go ahead and add a document. Uh, you save it into your files and then you're going to upload it. Okay, so Try and see if I have a seller's disclosure here. I'll just go ahead and do um, one of these documents. Okay, let's just say this was your seller's disclosure. You would change the name and add it in here. So then when you go in and um, for the signatures, you click e-sign, click new, and then here you can select which documents you want uh, to send over. So you can click all of them, or you can just click one, or, or you can un, uh, uncheck any of these, okay? So once you've selected the documents that you want to get signed, you close it, next. Okay, so then here we have buyer one, and yourself, so you can check them off. And then click on the outside. So if you wanna change the email and this is not the email, you have to uncheck it and then it's gonna let you come in here and edit it. Okay, so let's say I had to change it. And then select, okay. So you click close and you have the two people that are, are gonna sign. So here you have a signing order. So here you can see that it's gonna send it to the selling agent first or to yourself first, and then it's gonna send it to the buyer. You can send it to both at the same time, or if you don't want an order for it just to be sent out to everyone, then you can do it like that. Um, me personally, I just like to have it um, here myself. Again, if you wanna change the order, uh, just go ahead and do that. So the way this works is I'll get the document first. And then 
once I finish signing or doing what I need to do for my end, then it's going to send over to the next person. Okay. And you can take off that signing order. So that way everyone gets um, the document at the same time. So once you have that, you're going to click next. And it's going to autofill any, um, any sections where the buyer needs to sign. Okay, so you'll see how, how the buyer, it's already pre-filled here, there. Um, basically anywhere where the buyer needs to sign, it is uploaded. So for some, let's say for some reason it doesn't come up and they need a sign. Let's say this wasn't here then what you need to do is go into this drop down menu and select the buyer. And then here you can just click and then click again, click and then click again. So scroll down and just go through, um, go through your entire document to make sure you're not missing anything. Uh, and also whenever you upload a document, for example, the seller's disclosures that we, uh, we added um, which was this one. Uh, this is obviously not the seller's disclosure, but this is just for example purposes. Uh, for the seller's disclosure, let's say they had to sign here, it's not gonna auto populate that information. So you're gonna need to actually go in there and add the initials. Um, another thing that, another reason why you would wanna add yourself is you click on your, uh, your name and let's say you need to make a change you're gonna click on markup tools, click on the line and click and click. And then you're gonna go back to standard fields and put a text box. So here in the text box, you're gonna go over here and you can put, let's say it was 150. You can do that. And then you can click it and just make it small. And then you can drag and drop, okay? So then here, if you make a change where your buyer needs to sign, then again, you go into the drop down menu, you click on their name, and then click on initial. Okay. And then anywhere where you need to sign. So, for example, the wire fraud, for, um, it's not going to auto populate because it depends on which one you're working on. Uh, so, here, for example, if you're working the seller, you would click on the, the person, drag and drop, or just click and click. And then go to my name, click and click click and click. And once you are done, again, reviewing the documents and everything is good, then you would, you would click send. So again, guys, if you are getting, uh, let's say you sent an offer and they countered and you wanna make changes, uh, let's say the seller's name was incorrect. So you upload that file, you go here, the markup tool, scratch it out, Go to your standard fields, text. Uh, Panchito Ramirez, for example. And then here, make sure you do it like that. And then again, you're gonna need the buyer to sign and initial. So once you have that, just press send and you guys are good to go. So that's basically how you send out documents, how you fill out documents and how you edit documents whenever you need to make uh, any changes to a file that has already been uh, typed out. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow for day 22.